I actually have a date tomorrow night. I think you'd be proud of me. There you me. go, man. Get you a date <laughs> old, man. There you go. I got it. There you go. Um, One time for the healing. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. One time for the healing. I'm actually going to a restaurant and I'm getting dressed up and I'm going to get my flowers want, yeah. and I'm going to get my, you know, right. little glass of champagne. Like, I'm going to feel like a Your woman little again. Vulnerability. Yeah, I can like rest in my femininity. Dinner, yeah. a little drink, <laughs> a little, little right. ravioli. You feel me? <laughs> No, shout out to the ravioli. Yeah, a little ravioli, little. Oh, what kind of ravioli? What can? Yeah, I like a little ravioli, right. a little salad. <laughs> a little salad. <laughs> Not your order, Doc. <laughs> Too much. Welcome to season two of Iman Amongst Men, the show that takes an honest look at what it is to be a man in today's world. We don't shy away from topics most people are too afraid to talk about. We're going to take it all the way there. It's season two, y'all. Let's get it. Welcome to Iman Amongst Men, presented by Uninterrupted. I'm Iman Shumper, here with my big brother Ari. Ari, go on, give what's up to the people. What's up, people? Today we're joined. We got another special guest. Another special I guest. Believe, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is this the third female guest we've had? Yep. Yes. Yes? Yes. You're third. Check with the team. And You're third. We are correct. This is the <laughs> third female we've had on the show. She's a accomplished model, model. TV personality, TV and now person. rapper. Give it up for Amber Rose. Amber Thanks Rose. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, you do that in post. We got nice applause. We got applause. How the fuck we ain't got auto tune? <laughs> <laughs> you want so I do. I want it now. I do. I want it. I'm really tripping, y'all. Real brothers. I didn't it. know that. Oh yeah. You was like, that's my brother, but I'm like, okay, that's his friend. Why? Yeah, no. That's she said, okay, that's his friend. You don't well, feel yeah. like we look that close, right? No, I don't feel like y'all look alike at all. What about it? I don't know. It's different shaped heads, different noses, different mouths, different foreheads. <laughs> Almost as if he have something else, right? Oh, is this a thing within amongst the family? <laughs> Did I just trigger. bring something? She's trigger. Okay, I'm sorry. Trigger. He's you um know. American. <laughs> okay. Same parents. Half and no half. different. A little half and half. half I'm a Homo one. sapien. That's how I identify homo moving sapien. forward. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. Right, I'm human. Period. Here, Here we go. go. Here we go. What was the? It's a brand for that. Was human made? Pharrell did that. Oh yeah. And there's like a, a raceless thing, like a just human, human race. race. Yeah. Human yeah. race. That's mm -hmm. what it is. You said raceless. <laughs> I, you knew what I was saying. <laughs> the theme of today's episode is when you stop learning, you stop living. When you hear that phrase, Amber, what comes to mind? Oh wow, I, I love to learn every day. Um, I am, I love to absorb, absorb knowledge constantly, no matter what it is. Even if it's something I think I'm not into, I, I'll, I still wanna know everything about it. This is where I was telling you, uh, you and her are like, <laughs> Uh, he can absorb a lot of content mm -hmm. and I, he decipher. Read. Yeah, I read all read. the time. Well, I gave them all books uh, for, <laughs> for sure. my birthday. For sure. I gave them books. For sure. I got a whole College Hill box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got Are a lot. Are they good books? What kind of books? It's a homo, it's about the first humans. Sapiens. Oh, yeah. Did you read Sapiens? Look, uh -uh. he's going crazy. Oh, you got to read it. Look, you seen how he look, got alerted. Like, finally, oh, something that you good. ain't seen, man. That's finally, man. I'm happy we could find some, some dog. Everything people bring on this show, they be like, man, I was watching this one show. He be like, yeah, I seen that. I'm like, bro, when did you have the fucking time? Shame me for <laughs> learning something. But this Sorry. Is, she's very much like that in Astute. regards to, yeah, in regards to everything, though, inheriting a lot of information. Because a lot of stuff, it'll be like, once it's too much, I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to check check out because I need to pick up more <laughs> on whatever. But that's interesting. Like you For don't sure. know, you don't want to know where all of this. I think it depends this... on the personality type, you know? Like, have you ever taken a personality test? Like I'm the Myers-Briggs? <laughs> no, bro, I don't think that. I want none of that either. Yeah, it's just interesting because then it gives you like, like how you are in relationships, how you are in business, um, how you are you as a, a parent. But do they know cool. or are they telling me? Well, it's based off of the questions that you answer oh, about you yourself. So you have to self-analyze like, yeah, you know, you when it. you do it. So it's one of those fill outs that you got to go up to seven. Like if you're most 
Right, most like, likely or yeah, less yeah. likely type shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, like the job aptitude. Yeah, shit. kind of. It's like the Myers Briggs, but right. Like, but who came up with that system? You just telling anybody? Anything. It's pretty accurate. How you know that? Uh, because of my results, I'm like, oh shit, this is. This oh, that's is how me. you act. But is it like uh, horoscopes where it's kind of like it's a lot where, you know, like they give you a lot to kind of steer you towards a conclusion. I th- I'm starting and it's to believe like the you, horoscopes, though. I do, There's too. Generalities. Yeah. In every but yeah, like it's yeah. super, super general. So it's like, yeah, on days I do feel just like this, but there's other shit. Oh, in between like you're talking too. about the daily shit. The daily shit's a little strange. Sometimes, yeah. it, but no. But sometimes I'm saying like scarily most, accurate. most everybody that's born around the same time all do act the same. You feel That's like that? cap. Is it? I don't feel like that. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> Depending on what cusp <laughs> they're me. on. Like people usually be like a week on this cusp or that cusp. Like, well, they got a little, they act a little well, bit re- like both of these, but they definitely act like everybody <laughs> around their birthday. They all act the same. <laughs> I think it's generalities. Like they'll say Libras are like indecisive, right? Sometimes I'm indecisive, but so is my Pisces friends and my Taurus friends. I'm saying I don't know a lot of indecisive cancers. I don't know many cancers. So. Like <laughs> I, I, I know a bunch. I know a gang of them, and I'm like, I'm telling you, all of them. We're all like damn near spot on. They're either on one, the July one. Mm-hmm. You guys are a little aggressive. Not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> Me aggressive. The June, the June version is more of like a, a heartfelt energy like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know we the better version of it like oh, they're a little you. closer okay. to some <laughs> other stuff but on a serious note i do find a similarity in all cancers are very compassionate i've not met a cancer that's not compassionate like i i'm still trying to figure out where's the cancer that's just like this backstabbing ass well it depends ass. on how you look at things huh because if you're if you're a cancer right and then you do the the Myers-Briggs test, right? You have to analyze yourself. And that's kind of hard for a lot of people to do. Cause a lot of people will be like, I don't get frustrated easily, you know? And then they'll put, no, I don't get frustrated easily. But then you talk to people around you and they're like, bro, you get frustrated really mm-hmm. easily. So how could you ever do a test? That's where I feel like it's kind that, of weird. Well, that's the thing. Like, So your so, friends should really answer. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. But what if you your do- friend hating? Then that ain't your friend. That's right. what I'm trying to told you. We don't know. <laughs> That's what's scary about them tests, though. Like, who's making them tests? Like, I know thing? that I can be an asshole sometimes. I and I can, like, I can say that about myself. Like, if somebody is not as efficient as me, I get, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get frustrated. I'm just I'm like, bro, you. are you fucking stupid? You know, like, I can become an asshole sometimes. Yeah. It's not a great quality about myself. Yeah. But it's like you want to comb through some bullshit though. Yeah. Like most of the time, people that are considered assholes, it's because they be like, I like skip that part, get to the point. <laughs> exactly. I got shit to do. Like. Yeah. And it's an asshole move, but it's like the world would work a lot smoother. We only have way. a sh- short time to live, so let's keep it moving. <laughs> Whoever. It's always. <laughs> I'm sure that energy's at the drive through. She's like, yo, come on. Oh, bro. Like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> you got Donald. things to do. I know. I, is there um is there times where you have to uh do you control your asshole ways for your kids? Like is that an easy time to check the asshole ways or uh yeah, I well I try to control it with people in general. I try to have patience now right. that I'm older. Just more aware of it. Yeah. Yeah, I try to just be like, okay, I'm I'm getting frustrated, Amber. <laughs> Take some breaths, you know, and understand that not everyone is as efficient, and how that's you, okay. How do you do that? Is that do you go to therapy? Uh, I do go to therapy. Yeah, I go to therapy. Awesome. I think every person that can afford it should go to therapy. That's dope. It is expensive. It is very expensive. It is expensive. Yeah, that's what. I, yeah, I don't like the bill of it. The bill no is likes, crazy. No yeah, one likes the bill. The bill crazy. Bro. But Nobody I think does. um I think that's a lot of times why people check out and be like, Yeah, I think I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I'm yeah, I think I'm fixed. Oh like, yeah, it's definitely another I think I'm solid of the many reasons to deter from it. There's also a million different kind of therapists, and I think that when people look for a therapist, they just find a therapist. They're not finding a therapist that, you know, it specializes in what they're actually going through. Mm. What do you um, mean so, by different specialists? 
So there's like psychotherapy, there's like talk therapy, there's a uh, therapy that like gives you homework. Um, there's therapy for if you were have childhood trauma, uh, PTSD. So you need to find somebody that specializes in, in what you go through to have those conversations. Okay. It's kind of like, it's kind of like- It's if, like all of them are qualified to do whatever, but they usually specialize. Yeah, but like if you go field. to somebody and they're like, if I was a recovering drug addict, I would prefer to talk to a counselor that is also a recovering drug addict rather than somebody tell me, you know, don't do drugs. Copy. I, I want somebody that can relate to me and say, hey, I've been sober for 20 years. Got this you. is how I did it. And this yeah. is how I got through it for an, for an example. How many how many therapists did you go through before you like? I like this one. Like eight. Wow. Uh, yeah, you, you, you better than me. Was it like a conscious effort to find one that was like perfect for you or? Yeah, I mean, I felt like I felt like I've been through very specific traumas that I needed someone that could relate, have been through it and can understand my feelings and um, and show me how to work through 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 that trauma. You know what I mean? Because if you never been through it, school ain't going to fucking teach you that. Yeah. You know what sure. I'm saying? So. What's your like? What's your scale on how it's working? Like, is this like, am I feeling? But is it just like on a day to day if healthy? you're feeling better? Yeah. Um. I'm just I'm don't and don't me, feel like I'm grilling you. I just just for my listeners that on, we all. At this shit. All right, cool. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I love you, Iman. I love you too. Um. So I will say, and I'm not very like people know I have trauma because I'll just say right. that I have trauma, but I, I don't get in depth like publicly. But I think sometimes with certain traumas, you do need medication besides just talk therapy. Um, like medi like pills? Mm -hmm. So there's a holistic route where there's like a lot of vitamin regimens. Mm -hmm. um, then there's like mushrooms, microdosing on mushrooms or ke microdosing on ketamine. Um, I microdose off ketamine from a doctor. It helped me out a lot. Um, it kind of. I seen some about ketamine practice. Uh, yeah. That they talking about. I, I have no. So it's I just common. do it. It's I really common. don't know enough about ketamine to be yeah, I don't involved know about in it. that. I but. know it's common. Well, I have kids and I'm busy all day, so I'll do it like right before I go to sleep. It's like a tiny little piece you put under your tongue, yeah. um, and over like two weeks to a month, you start to just feel like. I really don't give a fuck what happened and I'm good and I'm ready to face the world, you know? Like, Wait, it like changes your mood? It changes your brain chemistry uh, with with other vitamins and regimens, stuff like that. Oh, it's, so this is like a chemical thing. It's uh, Oh yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a complete chemical imbalance if you feel like suicidal or um, constant uh -huh. anxiety or something, you know, or depression. So is it like a short term treatment for this or this is like something that you have to continue to do? Um, yeah, so it's not like habit forming. I mean, anything could be habit forming if you have a, an addictive personality, but I don't. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so yeah, I did it for about, it. yeah, I did it for about three months and I, I felt good. So if I feel like I'm kind of getting back into that dark place again, then I'll just go back. So, that's crazy. I gotta read up on it. I heard a lot of people say that cause they always talking about how we don't use uh, what, a certain percentage of our brain, what is it, forty percent we don't use? Oh, I forgot. What did Tiffany say? She don't use ninety five percent of her brain. Hey man, Tiff, uh, <laughs> that, it was funny as hell. That whole show, <laughs> everything. She, I don't know how she do. She that. was like, "I'm happiest when his penis is inside of me." <laughs> she said that to the professor. I'm, saying, I'm trying to do it. I don't use my whole brain all the time. I don't use the whole thing. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Shut she's up. hilarious. I love her oh so much. Oh my god, and the curriculum, the curriculum. Oh boy, wait till you oh, got to see the show. Trying to say curriculum. Kill him. <laughs> For the audience at home, uh, College Hill did season two, uh, a celebrity edition for, uh, of the same College Hill um, show from back in the day. And uh, during season two, I got to room with Amber, Ray J, Parker, McKenna. Um, Tiffany Quay. Tiffany Pollard, Quay, which, Blame it on Quay. That's what I gotta say. Blame it T -T. on her. 
TT, yeah, TT <laughs> with the blue hair. Uh, and who else we had? Orion. And that was it, six. And Jazzy and Jocelyn Hernandez. So seven. Why do I feel like I'm missing somebody? I think it was seven. Uh, yeah. Was eight, wasn't it? No, I think it was seven. <laughs> and then the way we jumbled in the rooms, it, it threw everything up. Maybe it was seven. Mm-hmm. Ray J, Parker, <laughs> Tiffany, Oh, please Quay, go through it because it's going to bother y'all. Orion. And me. I wasn't counting me. You. I oh, yeah. so high. Uh, no, I think you did. All right, oh, fuck man. Uh, <laughs> that's why I counted about a good count. I'm Wait, like, real yeah. quick, though. Um, I'd like to ask, because I always wonder this. On that type of show, because you guys are rooming with each other and there's mm-hmm. that many people, I know everybody's not like super hygienic and clean. I know for a fact. Does it no, ever get to a point shit. where it's like, yeah? Does it get to a point where it's like it stinks in here? Or no, I, we didn't get like that. No, okay, not we, at we, all. we we got okay, it. Cool. We got into it, we had a couple of little like arguments and shit before that shit happened. We it had, was really just maybe like messiness on our beds, on our own personal right, beds, right. but it was never filth. Okay, like, cool. Yeah, everybody cool. was pretty I much it was cool. Like the with everyone the got in the shower yeah. every day. Like, oh, oh motherfuckers! Good, like good. The, okay. the floor needed sweeping. Like even if somebody complained, they swept swept it. Like it didn't stay like that for a long time. Plus we had a, a great crew. A crew would come through every once in a while and right. clean up too. So shout out to them in the back. We was BTS spoiled a little shit. bit. Yeah, yeah, BTS <laughs> shit. They sometimes they help us out a little bit. Chef Mike cleaned the dishes up. So shout out to her. She was going crazy too. What? I hate that they didn't know. Yeah, uh, I just spoke to her chef, the other day. The chef oh. that we had, like, I don't know what they contractually was allowed to show her or whatever, but the, the, she would make some meals there, boy. Damn, y'all didn't have to cook either. Mm-mm. No, we did have we did have to cook sometimes though. Like they wasn't she just, just said no. No. No, well, no, you didn't have to if you didn't want to. Like you could order food and do with the rest, but sure. they had a kitchen oh, and shit okay. for us to cook. Like Damn, I be forgetting. if you cook, yeah, you do what you do. Like right? Some I'm motherfuckers forgetting. just I mean, don't yeah, cook. Yeah, you could cook if you want to, but we still had breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner from the But it's still 2023, 20, okay. nigga. We okay. could still wake up and Uber eat it. Like, you feel me? Motherfucker, wake up, do whatever yeah, you want. You had a Middle chef. of the night, motherfucker. You, you know, oh. they could blur it on TV. 2023, do it in post. <laughs> <laughs> just do it in post. What made you decide to do that show? I love to learn, Iman. You know, I literally, I've never done reality in my life. Yeah. And, um... So some people would say there's a negative stigma <clears throat> that comes along with that when people don't have a brand that's already associated with that. So some people would say there's a negative stigma that comes along with it. What made you say, you know what, I'm still wanna do it? Well, cause I watched season one and I felt like it was really positive. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, okay, I think this is gonna be a positive environment with you know, the other celebrities, like-minded people, mm-hmm. people that are, you know, have something to lose like me. We're not trying to go into all that uh, drama and shit yeah. like that. So, and an opportunity to learn in Montgomery, Alabama, where the really? civil rights movement was. I really? just thought it was, I thought it was gonna be really cool. So I signed up for it. It's crazy. I don't even think it was like as detailed for me. It was like, have you seen College Hill? Ashley was asking me, had I seen it? And I was like, I was like, yeah, I've seen it. Like, I was like, I like it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We had to negotiate, go back, go right. back and forth. But I remember thinking, who's on the show? Like, I, when they didn't tell me anybody, I thought it was gonna be like me and another celeb, or like we was gonna be the like, like say they picked me and you. It was gonna be like, yeah, we gonna have six regular students, but they get to hang with us, and oh. we get to be with real students doing something. Like, I thought that's what it was. Like, we was gonna be part of the. You brand. ain't watched season one before you signed up. I watched it with y'all. When I, got the, when I got there, P, so no, P pulled no, it up on her computer. No. That's how I saw it. I ended up going up. You don't remember we hooking oh, you up? you saw Stacey Dash and we was like. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't turn it off. Yeah. They pulled it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. P pulled it up. <laughs> Yo, she pulled it up on the uh, on the computer. We watch it. Stacey Dash like saying she not coming down. She like, she not dealing with y'all, but she like, I'm not doing this. And they all looking at her crazy. But she got I'm, in the ambulance? Yeah, she got in the ambulance and put the sheet over her head, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and went to the hospital Wait, and never returned, out, shorty. She went and did the dance routine with them. I guess she said her body shut down or she was sick or something, shorty, just never returned. 
I hope she was okay and everything. And, yeah, you know what I'm hope saying? She was okay but as well. I'm just saying it was just, the way they cut it and she had that sheet over her head. I'm like, no way is this funny. And then Ray <laughs> J he get kicked out of school for plagiarism. Oh man. Wait, what? Exactly. Season one was crazy and I didn't know about <laughs> it before going into season two. Like I just went into it thinking that I was like, well, if they gonna do this, do that, and it's just take a month. And you gonna teach me how to sew? Right. I was like, bet. Like, I, I ain't tripping. But Y'all you know what I'm upset enough? about, Iman, is that they didn't show like the camaraderie. Like, since from all this, the episodes that I watched so far, yeah. they didn't show how close we all were. They yeah. didn't show how funny Ray J was. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> hilarious. We were, me and Iman were crying like every day. Um, they didn't show. They didn't show the the, the tight knit friendships that we made on that show. Yeah. They just but they still got. I think they still got time. Like I, I don't know how many episodes it's gonna be. I think. They I mean, were, I'm getting kicked out next episode, so. That's, but that's what I'm saying. That's that could be why. How do you go back to tell the story? Like I ain't the producers or nothing, but that would be my way of keeping Amber on the show. Like I wouldn't show none of that, and then. If you got kicked out of school, I'd be like, but I still got mad footage of Amber. Like, I'm not finna like not have Amber and Jazzy on the show no more. Like, I'm definitely gonna use y'all other clips know. to fill in blanks. Maybe like, talk about situations and y'all still on the show. Like, right, right. That's how it's gonna. Yeah, feel. yeah, I can see that. That's what I would imagine. Uh, uh, somebody would do. Like, right. Uh, what would you say was your favorite class? My favorite class was civil rights history. Mm. By far. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, they used to drop some shit on us. Yeah. What was the craziest thing you learned? The craziest thing I learned? In the um, civil rights history class. I kinda knew, a, I kinda knew a lot already. I think seeing the images at like the museum and mm. it, it was, it was really emotional because you know about it, but when you see it, it's almost like oh, you it can't believe. Different. Yeah, and they re they reimagine it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like in that world when you're in the mm-hmm. museum, and then they they have like this big screen where it's like the waves of the Atlantic Ocean, and and they show like two million uh, the Africans that were just basically living in the ocean. Um, it was cra- it was pretty crazy. Yeah, it's uh, I say the. Not living, that said living in the ocean, but died no, no, yeah. it, oh, during the transatlantic slave trade. The, I understood. The, um, the craziest thing for me was, so you remember in school, like being taught slavery and taught the hanging, the lynchings. Mm-hmm. And I remember seeing one where dude's pants was down, but it showed his, his back, mm-hmm. right? <clears throat> And then I seen another one where it was the same thing. It was like a woman and a dude, but his pants was down. And I remember asking in school, like, did they like catch them having sex? Like, why? And everybody was laughing because they like it was such a tense moment anyway that when I asked it, people just used it as a comedic break. Right, right. <laughs> but, Real quick, let me just cut to the chase. Were they castrated? Yeah. Okay. But I'm saying when you when when now when we went to school and I was like, damn, when I think about it, I never really got that question answered. Like mm-hmm. the teacher really just went around what I said so he didn't have to say nothing to the class. Right. And I haven't, I don't think I've ever gone back to investigate it. So when they told us <laughs> that like, yo, like, yeah, they, they was cutting them off. They was putting them in their mouth. They was, you know what I'm saying? They was passing them around. No, also, the also, I, the no but I'm, it was you do gotta go into detail because I'm saying, that's it wasn't saying. that long you ago. You do have to go into where, detail. Yeah. Like that's what they drop in your oh, lap. Oh no, I know. On the black, ver- I'm saying when you in school, it don't get that real. They really do be like, it's like that, or it's like, please don't, don't keep going. Like it's like, nah, fam, keep going. Right. What they do? I was like, they did what? Yeah. Like burning people's skin off over the fire. Y'all was watching people roast. Yep. 
Also, the mass incarceration exhibit was yeah, yeah like y'all had people oh, to wait, where they, they got a mass incarceration. Oh, they was having them stand in rooms where it's like you got to use the bathroom. You just standing mm-hmm. shoulder to shoulder. Holding cells. You, you kind of sleep like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you mm-hmm. can't move. It's that many people in there. You get what I'm saying? It's like that's it's gross, insane, bro. It's germs. It's, well, duh, but uh, yeah, no. Nah. Are you, you talking me? about the slave ships? Yeah, uh, all that shit. But oh, yeah. even the oh, rooms that they, even the, the rooms that they was putting them in, where they was doing the. Uh, oh, you was talking. I was talking about mass. mass I was talking about mass incarceration. Yeah. But I, oh, I, hear I what thought you, you was talking about when they was first putting them in them little ass rooms and right. shit. And they, like picture talking about on the ships. No, when you got there, picture working all day and oh. then going into a yeah. little ass hut. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like you ain't even getting a bed the yet. The quarters. Like, right. Yeah, you gotta like pass through. Like that's like see who could live through that. All right, they strong like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Wild. Like I'm like this. And the museum was built on I think it was like a cotton um not a cotton field but where they kind of filter the cotton out. It was like a big part of it like they built the legacy museum on top of that. Yeah. So they're like you're standing right here. Like oh, there were where, signs where it went down where, where, they, yeah. where they but where they built built it and spilt blood on it. Exactly. Like yeah. they wanted to take it back. <clears throat> you got any plans on going back to school? I want to. I really do, but I got two kids. I don't got time. <laughs> yeah, I love the Odyssey. Yeah, I yeah. just, I don't have time, you yeah. know? Maybe I'm I sure could go back school. when they're old. <laughs> I'm when sure. I, I mean, yeah, when they're older. Their, uh, is their schooling like taking you back and having you think a lot? Yeah, have you have you already looked, have you, have you looked at, his like, math looked at them like, 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 Ma, how I do this? And you be like, yeah. <laughs> like you ain't paying attention. No, today. go to the top of the exactly. page and look at the example. Like, what they say? Right. Like, let me Google this. Nah, so, so, Sebastian is going into the fifth grade and he's starting calculus oh, in his Jesus. school <laughs> in the fifth grade. So I'm like, look, check this out. Oh, never mind. We gonna have to never get mind. Yeah, never yeah mind. I mean, last he got year his in the homework. fourth grade, I ain't know his shit. He got his honest. homework. Like, don't mm-hmm. worry about his calculus. And, and, uh, I guess in his school, not to us, to him. Great, to him Damn, they yeah, do that boy. Not to us, so, right? So. Jesus. That Christ. is, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and stunt. Yeah, yeah that's nice little stunt. Yeah, yeah. So yeah you thank you. My button. son's you in calculus. Stump. Yeah, he'd be like, yeah. stunt button. Thank you, there appreciate you that. That's all. Yeah. That's that fifth that's grade, why. yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd touch stuff like that till. I've never been in a calculus class. They never wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> they never wanted me in there. <laughs> I'm sure I'd have been in there like, <laughs> Like just get out, just oh bro. But it's good. I think it's good to introduce that early. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's not. No, you know, we're not like, asking them to solve, but solve the world. Yeah, they're learning. They're learning. The, I guess the basics of calculus in the fifth grade. So that's crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about well, that. Y'all getting introduced to everything earlier? Because I promise, yep. uh, I didn't have a cell phone till high school. Um, I didn't did, get my license until so I was 29 years old. I think that's more of an East Coast thing. Yeah, okay, I was just yeah, about to say, that's because yeah, you're from the yeah, East Coast. I, that's, I don't understand y'all in that. I don't. We don't, because we don't, there's no <laughs> don't parking. And they don't need it. They got public transportation. They got the trains. It's like, true, because why say traffic? Why they, that's why they all yelling at each other all day out East. True, but imagine if you got the hang of that after like two or three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you good. I mean, remember, you got to think remember? like, oh, no, we, we adjusted Rihanna, well. there's so many people that take the train that even got to just get to like performing. Oh, we was performing. with it. Oh, trust yeah. me. We was with it. We took the we train lived literally to like Square. a block and a half from the train. At first he said it, it, and I was like, "Bro, no, everybody gonna know." He like, "Bro, I'm telling you, nobody is gonna think you live right here." Like, but nobody. they used to be looking at me like, "Yo, we got to be downtown in an hour." Like, bet I'll see you at thirty. Yeah, I'll see yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they like, no, we gotta leave. We gotta go pick up the car. We gotta get it from the garage. We gotta do. I'm like, all right, I'll see you. Like, <laughs> have my own time and beat them there. Real That's talk. definitely an East Coast thing. I can see that. It's a lot of people that do that. It's the it is the quickest way around the city though. So I you get a pass, but yeah, your your son's Appreciate probably that. gonna learn how oh, to Oh no, he's no he's not no mm mm. He's probably gonna not until he's eighteen. He cannot get his license. Might 18. not get his license, but, but you gonna let him learn. He's though. gotta know how to like, drive. I'm not gonna let him drive by himself at sixteen. No, 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 no of no. course not. But they do he that in, in LA. Himself. They have their sweet sixteens. They get no. the car and then they go fucking joyriding and shit. I'm not. I mean, you're allowed to you're allowed to sit in the car with your your kid and drive I'm saying yeah of course but I'm saying like I'm not letting my baby you're not gonna let him just take the keys after that no unless he could drive no unless he's 18 (laughs) and he been driving with me for a couple years 
Oh, she said, fuck the teacher, Dang, fuck yeah, the grades. This like, ain't about him. I, I need tried. to know. Yeah, no, I need I'm to know. I'm here to protect my children. I just want you to remember this interview and remember I tried, brother, but mm-hmm. she finna put you on ice. You no, feel I hear me? that. <laughs> no, I hear okay? it. I hear it because oh no, I'm gonna listen. First I'm of all, I'm not losing my baby to no car accident. When my kids, that. when my kids get fidgety and start wanting to learn how to drive, I'm about to teach them like a motherfucker. I'm gonna spend so many hours with them. I'm right. not into. I've I knew myself on the other side. You not keeping me from it. It's just, are you gonna teach me? Right. You not keeping me from it. Like as a kid, once a kid really wants something and they really want to do it, they really want to learn it. If you don't give them access while you right here. Good luck. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's no, why I I'm just like, like, I'm super. No, no, that's why I said I'm super with the, like, you need a couple of years with me. Like, yeah, for sure. It's just, I'm not, I probably won't follow the age rule. I'm probably going <laughs> to take mine to the parking lot. Like, you thirsty as hell, but if you steal my car, I swear for oh Lord. <laughs> You're doing a good job. You keeping yours out of their way. <laughs> 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 she keeping hers at home. It's they just going to watch driving. you. <laughs> Leave it in Park Judy's outside. <laughs> no, I'm staying. Home. No, Judy, I ain't gonna lie. Judy gonna be all right. She actually could drive really good with the bumper cars. She drive really good with the games. I'm with like, bro, she like driving. She, <laughs> she like driving. Gosh. Even when she had a little, they they got their little thing. Well, he too big for the toy car now. Uh, the little one probably could get in. Uh, oh yeah, the little yeah. Yeah, the little, he could uh, ride the little car. Yeah. Uh, do they have them? They he, he could drive those. Yeah, my little one has one. But can he ride? Like, you can usually tell when. No, the then kid... he bumps into everything. And okay, okay, he yeah. not into it like that. Nah, yeah, that was mine. I was. But my baby, he's only three, so maybe he's like five. Oh yeah, he got time. But he's on it. Like he loved driving it. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, you gonna get that moment where he turned five and he bend the corner a little too good. You gonna be like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. When I'm they do to that about. shit, you yeah, know you can do. upgrade them. What? You know you could upgrade them? Now you just did all that no, 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 to no, upgrade no. a three year No, 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 no. On TikTok, I seen it, and it's crazy because it's real. You could take <laughs> like power drills or power tools, take the battery and replace it in the, the little drive port for the car, yeah. and it revs the motor up hella fast. Like, no, we're not doing that. It make them like damn near what? 10 miles an hour. Like oh, they no. legit are like little that? go-karts. What battery? You, you got any power tool. Car. Like, so like if you got a drill or something, but like a high power drill, they got those big ass batteries at the bottom. We'll pop talk. it out. We'll talk. Yeah. We'll talk. Yeah. See? We'll get there. See? We'll get there. You got some useful information. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, we'll get welcome. there. Uh, best and worst things from the college Hill experience. Well, I, honestly, I know the worst thing. Best thing from the experience. Um, The best thing was that I met you. Oh, that was and great. And all my other save. roommates. Um, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I would say honestly, and I know you're gonna think that I was gonna say that, but you know, I think that whole thing was a learning experience. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have any ill will towards her. I think that we had a moment mm-hmm. and it got really ugly, but I don't wanna hold on to that. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep talking about it. I don't wanna, have beef with somebody because of some stupid argument. And I don't really, I don't really want to be known for like fighting on reality TV. Mm-hmm. You know no, what I mean? Shout out to that. Shout the out to older that. I get, that's how I feel too. I feel just like that. Like, yeah, I, I feel like it happened. For, like we're both grown yeah, like, and like we should just, you know, kind of, and we're mothers. Like it didn't have yeah. to, it didn't have to be like that. I just, but like I, said, I had a I, great time overall. I feel like the biggest issue with that whole problem was like y'all not being able to chop afterwards. Like I feel like while y'all was hot, we could all just sat down. Like we'd have got to have another just table talk day. Like we used to sit at the brown table. Right. Everybody just chilling, vibing, playing some music. If we'd have got to have another day of that after y'all did that and mm-hmm. could have got to squash that, like, I felt like it could have been smooth. Well, like. here's the thing, Iman. You, let, let, we could be honest. You can't have rational conversations with irrational people. For sure. And sometimes it's just like that and you just got to chalk it up and it just is what I it know. is. I know, I just, you know me. And I love you for that. You know me, I grew up and in you're a house a full of brothers. He's trying to make everybody No, he's a together. sweetheart. And that's, that's me and my brothers had be. to eat, we had to eat cereal the next day. We ain't had no choice. But see, but that's how I am. Cause I grew up in Philly, right? I never was a fighter, but I always fought. Like I didn't, 
I, I didn't start fights, right? Mm. But but afterwards, they be, would become my best friends and we would go play double dutch or we would just- Which is what I realize thought. it ain't that serious. Yeah, so that's how I feel about this situation. It's like, girl, okay, like, we Like, can fought. we hug yet? <laughs> like, like, oh, no, like, it's different when you grown because you don't, you know, she's saying it like if you irrational already, like it's kind of- Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason for gone. us to be friends or make up, but just have like, you know, this respect. common decency that we're, we're both grown, we're both mothers, mm -hmm. shit happened, shit was out of line both ways. Yeah. And let's just move forward. Yeah, well, I like that. You know? So. Choose peace. So after filming the show, who's your favorite person to be in contact besides me? Your first, <laughs> your, your favorite person besides to be in contact with. Yeah, yeah, I'm always the favorite person. Yeah, you are my favorite. Um, I, I swear, y'all, I'm not just saying that he is my favorite. He was my favorite on the show. He's I don't just, bother nobody, man. I think you know. we, I think, I think that we're always gonna agree on that because it'd be like, you about to take your break? I'm gonna take mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I and I also like that when we came on the show. You know how everybody's got like their. Um, their, their thing that people know them for. Mm -hmm. Like, I always felt like, I don't know why, but I feel like I don't know Amber. Like, I was looking, like when she came, I was like sitting there and I was kind of puzzled. Like, why do I feel like I don't know her? I've seen her, I've, but I don't even remember how she could talk or nothing. I just used to seeing her, I told her, in the glasses, <laughs> right. the fashion, the blue, I mean, the blonde hair. I'm like, I'm used to seeing that, but I'm like, it's crazy. Like, I don't really know. So it was like for her to come on the show and then we sit down and then I could finally hear her talk. I'm like, damn, she got some thoughts on her. <laughs> like, for wow, sure. she surprised some, you had a personality. Got some I great just, perspective. He Jeez. thought you was really, just glasses. I'm, I'm very private yeah. and I'm very quiet. And, you know, people that I'm close with, I talk to all the time. Real and close. I don't usually over explain myself. I do wanna say one thing though, Iman, that I, I feel like is really fucked up um, on College Hill. And this is probably the worst part for me is the editing. Um, I feel like the entire season that I watched so far made it seem like I'm this fair skinned mixed girl that just cries all day about being biracial. All right. Um, and that wasn't our experience. I may have had two conversations about that within the whole month. Right. And that was either people asking me or production asking me to talk about exactly. it. Um, and then if you look at the um, episodes, I'm in the same clothes. So like I'm in the same clothes from the first episode and, and the same clothes from the last episode that just happened. And it's the same conversation because they're piecing it together and spreading it out. You think they focused it too much on that? I think it's BET and I think that I was a scapegoat and that's honestly how I feel because we had a lot of intellectual conversations. Me and you had debates, we played that's pool cool. together. Um, we, we, we talked a lot about so many other things. Oh, what y'all debate about? Cause he's an no, 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 we not, no. We no. debate all type of stuff though. No, we debate. No, just give me we've the debated, rated G version Okay, or we've debated everything from what music we should be playing on the aux <laughs> to uh, 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 religion to, uh, uh, didn't we, we, didn't we have a, a, a art, we had a whole debate about the best holiday. Cause hers is like, Halloween. Yes. Look, but wait, listen. You see that? That's was, how I start. Was <laughs> she said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Yeah. Yeah. I said what I said. What, I said. Wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was yours? Uh, I can't remember what Christmas. I said. Christmas. Yeah, right. yeah, probably Crema until I became Santa. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Crema was cool when we Crema. used to get that $100. Why? Right. Get that Hana, Hana, Hana. You feel what I'm saying? Get the Hana, Hana, Hana dollar bill. See, when you a shorty and you get a $100 bill, it hit different. But well, then, yeah, because the world is yours. Exactly. Yeah. But when you turn older, you got to get gifts for and everybody. You front the bill. Exactly. He's like, man, Santa wasn't real this whole time. This nigga, man. <laughs> it actually, I thought it'd make me feel bad, but nowadays it doesn't because they got so many cool toys now. I'll like, be looking in and I'm like, damn. Man, like, I wish that, I would have that. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I got to let them experience this. Like, I didn't have this. I'm like, yeah, put it in the cart. Like, they ain't even asked for it. How many days of Halloween is there? 
one. Oh, she got a whole nah, but you do it. But the there's whole people week, that huh? do it. You know, people that do it for like a week. They do like the pumpkin oh, I do it thing for like two they... months. <sighs> yeah, I start the beginning of September. Oh, so when all like, them start, is, you like what is what's involved? Like, give me a. I'm not uh, a Halloween guy. It's definitely a day for me. Yeah, decorations, anim, animatronics, all the ha, ah, like all that what's shit. Animatronic. The ones that move you know, and like robotic. scare people and copy, shit. Copy, copy, copy. Like reach for the trick or treat and then the hand. Yeah, touch all you. that cool shit. Copy. Yeah. So um, you do a haunted house? Do I do a haunted house? Yes and no. I my house does look crazy, <laughs> but my kids love it. But it's not like I don't like bring people there to do like a haunted house. We should we should talk. No, we don't have to do it at your house, but we should do a haunted house. Have you ever been to one shit. of those, the nice ones? I, she could think. Or of you some don't wild shit. I've been to no. All she of could them. think. But of I'm some saying wild like shit. you know the ones I'm talking about where you got to buy the tickets you got a great online team. Hey, John. and shit. Yeah. What can we do, man? Where they you know they fix you got a great up the team, whole man. rooms up Just and saying. all of that. Uninterrupted. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's my shit. And I, I like gore. I like a lot of blood. Yeah, guts, that's what I said. She brains. put together quite a show. Yeah. Oh wait, she's a, you put them together yourself? No, I'm saying she would. Like she oh. put together a slave narrative that <laughs> <laughs> it got it went there. Yeah. It went it there. Did. Yeah, I couldn't use it on B too You're much. Chopping for BET, people up and shit. Yeah, it was too much for BT Plus. But she liked to get a get her hands dirty in that shit. I do. <laughs> I, you know what's funny? I was I tell my mom like I feel like I could have I could have um, done um, autopsies and just yeah we like, talked about that too. That's cringy for me. Yeah, I think it would be fun like oh, to no, kind of sit in. Oh no, no, no. She, oh, no. she do the like oh. she like looking at it like like saying wow that's where that goes and wow that's no, I how went that to high, works. From that's that why yeah, I went to high like school it. with somebody who was like it training be to be like a mortician. He wasn't right. I knew it the second I met him. He wasn't right. And then when I found that out, I was just like, yeah. We were sophomores. Like, why so early, bro? But his father probably owned a family. Yeah, I was about to say his father. No, he didn't have a father around. It wasn't in his family. Some of us are just, I mean, that's what makes the world go round, right? Some people are just into things. But we need a nigga to do that. Yeah. We need a nigga to I do that. I feel like if my life was different, I definitely can't do it. I would have done autopsies We can't do it. What you gonna do it? Hell no, no I'm you not gonna let them shit I just feel up. like that's something you get into when you're like 25, when it's like, you know this is what you wanna <laughs> do. Like You wouldn't think it's cool to like see like what the insides look like. I got like operation at yeah, home. Yeah, we got all that. I got operation at Ain't home. Gonna, I, if yeah. you miss, <laughs> no one dies, everybody oh, has bro, fun. Red nose light up, yeah. all that. Like, mm-hmm. we cool yeah, nah, on that. Mm-mm. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't that good at that. What if you I, take some stuff I out and you can't put it back together? What the fuck? It don't matter. They're dead. Gonna Autopsies a, get crazy. True. Yeah. If they. Yeah. If they're dead. Right. But you don't want to send them back. Like. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to no, no, kill no, no, people. That, do I don't want to be like a serial killer. Just, like I want to. Oh no. I want to do it when the people are already dead. Right. You want. I don't want to hurt people. You want to be Dexter. No. Dexter kills people. Right. But he was actually doing it. You know. Not. He was. He was doing. I'm not excuse the killings, but no. He was into all the shit. Like how people die. What happens? Yeah. All serial killers. Like he was all into it. Uh, Which is scary. There's a lot of people that like that that show. I've never really. You gotta watch Dexter. It's It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It became too much at a point. He's a blood spatter expert. Yeah. So like he goes to crime scenes, but it's really the scenes that like he just did. He and then he finds out. Well, he's like a Robin Hood of sorts. So like he he finds the killers of the people from the crime crime scene. So his dad was like, look, I know you're different. Basically saying, I know you're going to be a serial killer when you get older. So he lightweight a hero. Yeah, exactly. But it gets really messy. Like, it does get really messy. He does start off doing the right thing. It's a lot of anxiety. He's a hero. Yeah. He's a hero. Uh, wow. He changed. You that. saw and it all Mi- the way to the, the end though, right? Miami PD is kind of like, God, we can't find the killers anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. They're like all coming up missing. And he forensics. And he's just and sending he's, them off he's too, fucking like, them up. just sending them off. Like, so he can go like I gotta himself. leave for it. Yeah, he doing it all himself. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he white glove too. Like he he don't leave nothing Man, behind. Dex, I might check you out. Yeah, Dexter's fire. Yeah, I might did check you watch you it out. all the way through though? Yeah, you watched it to the very end. Yep. So you know how crazy it got. Yeah, it got crazy. it got crazy though. Like people who weren't you supposed to die started dying. How oh, many yeah. seasons? Like it's eight, not, nine. Yeah, it's not that long. It ain't crazy. It went over. No, it went over a bunch of years. Like Dexter's old. Years of this oh, content. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> it's out there. You know what I'm saying? Like millions of people have watched it. I don't know why he's so surprised. To all these people that you putting out independent films and all the extra not documentaries. Showtime. Did anything it. that you putting out, just understand you'll always have a fucking customer, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was pirated. What does that mean? I wasn't a customer. I didn't have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> He was a bootlegger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you was a bootlegger too. I was, we all heard that story. Yeah. So come on. You know the game. I was. I do. I Just do. Just different media. Fair share. Uh, parent is a big theme on the show. Um, what's it like being a mother for the two boys? The most amazing gift ever. Right. I love being a boy's mom. My whole house is footballs, <clears throat> soccer balls, baseballs, bats. <clears throat> basketballs, hoops, all, it's just all blue sports, and sports everything. and yes. Oh, um, you got somebody who likes blue? What? You got somebody who likes blue? Like that's their favorite. Oh, yeah, we cripping uh, in my house. <laughs> oh, they both all blue. <laughs> no. They both all blue? Yeah, they love blue. Yeah. Oh man, I yeah, like blue, blue too. Ever, ever since I got older, I, I fell back into blue. Gray's my favorite color, but I fell into blue again. Yeah, they're young boys, so everything I is like that blue, moment. red. I they like red. Blue Ranger. Oh, okay. I was Blue Ranger. Yeah, yeah. Do they have a Power Ranger? Do they pick a Power Ranger? No, they're into like Venom. It's well, like 2023. Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Verse. That's over. Yeah. Spider-Punk. They like Spider-Punk. You know Who's Spider-Punk? That? He didn't watch the movie. So he's Don't like even. a he's like a rock and roll punk rock Spider-Man. Remember I told you there's like a thousand different versions. You've seen of that. the punk rock Spider-Man, bro? No, yeah. it's in the comic. The comic mm-hmm. is super old. Like this story been out there. They just made a movie of it recently. It's like a red spider punk, man. No, I didn't read. He's not. He didn't have his own comic. He just appeared in it. So we know who's going to oh, be there. But I'm just saying you and him read the same book. Probably. No, she saw the movie. There's a movie for spider I just said that. I just. Yeah, they're all different kinds of Spider-Man. No, Spider but I thought, I thought Spider-Punk yeah, was Spider-Man. in the new movie. You're saying he got his own movie. No, Oh, no, no, no figures, no. the action figures. So he has the Spider-Punk action figures. He has Venom. He has Hulk. Copy. He's in the all the... Marvel. Ah, yeah, Marvel. You know, yeah, like little his, boy. He got, a, he got a man cave room where he make the uh, the action figures and do all the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I be laughing at the shit until I see it all in front. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. It remind me of back in the day when I used to set all the G.I. Joes up. That's me again, though, being and the, a big And the kid. boys play Ro- oh, Roblox oh, all yeah. day. Yeah, I hear about it. I them. hate them things. I know picking them up. My little daughter don't play it. I, she, well, actually, she do play Roblox here and there, but she's more into those, uh, the youngest is into the, like, they do the things now where they take the lips and put them on the face, and then you can color the lips. Oh, okay. Then you gotta attach the ears to the face. Come on, the iPad. Oh, you talking about like Talking a... Tom, like the girl version, the app, the Talking Tom app? I don't know. Some where you can so Talking Tom. Talking Tom boy, is the cat. The boy version mm-hmm. of that. So no. you can dress the boy and like. What's the Talking Cat? Yeah, that's Talking Tom. But then there's a girl version that you could put makeup on her. And the boy version is what my boy plays with, where, where he, he says something. He gotta put him something. in the tub. He gotta make sure he eats. Are we talking about the same one where he say something and they, they spit it back to you? Yes. That's it. Okay. Is, is it a different? But that's the boy though, version that's talking to him. Oh, it just I don't know. They say stuff to him and they yeah. Laugh. My three year old be like, like motherfucker, <laughs> and then he be like, he like motherfucker the cat. It's Little boy. Cute. Yeah, they say it in a high pitched voice. It's yeah. funny as hell. But <laughs> oh, they the oh. kids usually whisper so the cat talks for them. Uh huh. But the cat, they so know they how to do it. figured out how to get yes. out bad words. They can basically. get it off. They yeah. can get it off. But they'll say it close so you can't hear it. But they do it in a frequency oh, to where yeah. the cat sound funny. Exactly. My daughter not doing that. Yeah, yeah Junie, no. Junie take I advantage, let my kids she don't do that. You do? I'm yeah. saying, dog. She but that don't bother you like when you see other It doesn't bother no, me when mine does No, because he don't curse at people. They, they don't, don't curse boys. at people. She got little boys, though. Right, but it pisses me off when, like, when I go somewhere or if they not you, in vain with it though. They not like I get terrible. it. No, I get it. But I've no, been on yeah, a couple not... outings. Like I've been to uh field trips and shit where it's like little kids out here with crazy no, mouths. No, 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 and I'm no like, they would never well, curse at school. Very well okay, cool. Very well mannered. Yeah, they would never ever But it's it just funny though that you just be like mm. Like I could right. totally see that from you though. <laughs> like, yeah, you, I don't even care. even in your your coach's parenting situation, it's like, bro, what they not tripping. Shit. No, I it's mean, like, they that's know like me when and where. Like me and T cannot, when Judy turned 15, you think I'm uh, 12, 
What I'm gonna say? If nah, she, first me. of all, first of all, if she kids are gonna to curse this, anyway. Exactly. They're gonna do it behind like, your back. You might as well know. I just feel like know I would do it. I wouldn't know who you are. I wouldn't have had no I control. Know who you are. I wouldn't have had no control. Like if I was 10 years old and I could curse, like by the end of the week, it's like I'm gonna say the word. Well, see, that's why like you gotta you start getting them to curse. No, 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 no. I was you were saying curse words. No, but I was saying outside of the house. I'm saying if it was okay inside of the house, I'd have let it go. Yeah, yeah, our daddy was beating. Nah, if you if you let them start cursing at like two, three. Oh yeah, you doing some. By time by time they're well by time they're six, seven, they don't give a shit. They're not even trying to curse anymore. I, I'm, I'm gonna be yeah. honest with oh, you. Oh, you saying like they get you it out just took the power out of it? It's like yeah, not an excitement even, thing. They don't even they care don't anymore. Even, my they kids, don't even want to curse. My kids don't even care to curse like yeah. that. It's just not. I desensitize them at an early age. I don't know when they get around other kids. I'm sure they know. They're gonna to do use it anyway. Them. Yeah. I'm sure they know how to use them. I just don't, my, I don't want mine to be like the ring leader. That's what. what? <laughs> it's too late. When they all go, go do it. I don't want them nah, to be, be like, listen, y'all that. little motherfuckers. We got company over here. Don't y'all be fucking cursing and shit. <laughs> exactly. They be like, fuck you, mom. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> when nah. they mom the cool, I'm like, mom, mom, what the fuck? Like, oh, bro. <laughs> just go to bed. That's all. Just go to bed. I think it's funny. I, I, I done caught Junie cursing. Junie's actually a very capable cursor. Yeah, they, I've already they caught her. Who cares? I've already it's caught only her. words. Rue repeats. Rue repeats me. I but care. they're they're very I good care. kids. My kids are great. Are kids. you religious? No. No. I just I told I just don't want to be that parent. Like I'm always that parent who's just like. Oh, were you were you gonna be shocked when your daughter like starts cursing and you? Oh, she's you already started. She goes to school and does it and does it in a way that I don't use it. So it's like I know nobody's showing you this. Like you picking it up on TV, something. I don't At know school. what it is. Yeah. That's what I said. When they get around but other kids. I, I don't get that from the other kids, though. Like, I feel like she's the roughest one around. She's coming to school. Oh, like, rough, probably, yes. Rough, rough. But girl? I'm saying, like, yes. it's different. Like, but I'm saying, when you she get, don't speak to nobody. Like, some, of the kids them, watch, some of the kids watch videos. Some of the kids watch YouTube. And you know the other kids are always going to be better with the other parent. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, when my son goes to his friend's house. Yeah. The mom is like, Sebastian, he just, <laughs> he just cleaned the whole kitchen and he just did all the dishes. Oh, he's such like, a, I'm like, this little motherfucker don't do shit nothing. at my house. Right. Can't get him to take you know? the garbage so, out. But they, they, I, I, do love, I do adore that about kids. Kids definitely want their parent to be proud of how their right. behavior was. It's just because they know we care. It's right. the mischievousness yeah. <laughs> of it, though. That and I'll be like, oh, like you did what you were supposed to do, but you only did it for your reasons, <laughs> like not for the right ones. Or you want right. some? Uh, we speak on um, relationships up in a lot of uh, different forms of parenthood. When we talk about co-parenting, how do you do that? How do you go about it? I just make everything about my children. I don't hold any feelings about the past. Right. who they're dating, who they're talking to, right. what they do in their personal lives. As long as my children are happy and fed, that's that's Amen. it. That's the only way you can co-parent. When you start minding somebody else's business and what they do in their <laughs> personal time is, is when things get murky. Oh, bro. How do you uh, how do you feel about like, like are you, I was just watching this on the movie, by the way. No, I was watching on The Wire. On The Wire where he he's break up with his wife and she's going in on him about having a bed for the kids and having uh, the color. And he was like, why does that matter? But are what, the you, color of the bed? The color of the room. Okay. The color of the room. Mm -hmm. it, it was just a funny she scene where it's like, yeah, she, oh, was, okay. she really wasn't nitpicking though. But it's like, when you have a daughter, bro, like when you have a five, six year old daughter and has, she has a favorite color, like you can't have a, a beige room. Like you just can't. Like. I yeah, know that now because I got two of them. Yeah, yeah whatever she, wants. she should have a pink room. Little boy, get whatever room. Get you off want. my back. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's just like looking at it now. When I first saw that, yeah, I'm looking at it like, man, that nagging girl. But now I got two little girls, oh, and I'm no, like, yeah. you I'm like, oh, bro, yeah, you fucked up. Right. <laughs> you lied because you said you had it, and you don't. <laughs> that you got IKEA shit. But how everything else fall to the wayside just because of the color. Huh? Like at least she got a room. No, I just thought it was funny that like, having the color allows a woman to know, boom, you got the bed, you got all that already. And now you got the color of the room. It's like, if you didn't have the color of the room, knock that out. 
but he's so oh, worried man. about getting to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot and on his mind. He, exactly. <laughs> he had a lot closing in on him, but he was working the case. Yeah, so he working with murder. And they <laughs> out here expecting this man to pay. I get the it. Room. You saw the wire. Like, man. No, I'm saying you absorb the content. No, I'm saying if totally you got that it. type of job, like come on, man, like don't come in here yeah, tripping about the room cover. But like, I just think please. it's I think it's cool though because in a co-parenting situation, you've been in a co-parenting mm-hmm. situation. In a co-parenting situation, is that something that gives you anxiety, or oh, yeah. is that something that gives you grace that you give grace to? You mean not minding business? No, I'm not talking or, about the business. Forget the business. I'm talking about stuff that oh, really, she's saying like period. stuff that's about the kids. So I'm like, one of the situations I saw, like something that's about the kids that you would argue about is like, are the kids' rooms over there mm. satisfactory? Like when I send my kid to you, you know what I'm saying? Like what are the requirements? And now that I have somebody that's a dude and somebody <laughs> that's a female, it's like, shit, this is great, co-parent, go. Weirdly, I feel like, like especially if the kid is with the mother, I yeah. feel like it's whoever the kid is with them, Primarily, so if they're with the mother primarily, mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to make sure like they're good, like make sure they got money, make sure that they, you know, making sure that they have somewhere to be. But right. I feel like as a man, especially if I'm not in the house, I can't really nitpick about how she's got, you know, they set right. up. Do you be feeling like there's a certain setup that you should have? Oh, to hell have? yeah, all the time, but. Yeah. I Can I say like something? I feel like there's no yeah. leeway for that. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like kids when they're really young usually don't stay in their rooms anyway. I don't know if it's just my kids, <laughs> but like up to f- uh, like my three year old still sleeps with me, yeah. and it's just a really just a waste of a bedroom. They're gonna sleep with the parent <laughs> anyway. So um, yeah, but I think that you just you have to get out of your ego and your feelings about anything else besides the child. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why people are always you know arguing like you had that bitch around mm. my baby are you why the fuck you got that dude around my son right. y'all not together deal yeah. with it suck it up y'all not together people date other people that your kids are going to be around other people Rizzo. throughout life that's just how it is nobody is ever going to take the place of the parents mm, right. see i grew up with step parents mm. so like so you I love my step parents. You already have an understanding. Yeah, of I love my step parents, but my st- I love my step mom, but she's not my mom. And nobody nobody's gonna take the place of my mom. So I think that so you had like, a step mom and a step dad. Yeah, they both remarried. Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. so what's that? What's that like? Yeah, to have now like, yeah, to have two. New so parents. my kids have a lot of grandparents. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they double presents, double. Yeah, they have girl, a lot double of grandparents. Everything. Yeah, that's. Double cheeked up. Well, Double is, cheeked man. up for sure. <laughs> yep. That's wild. That's kind of that's, that's cheat Chico. code. Oh, yeah. Bro. Yep. Oh, bro. Christmas going crazy, crazy. over there at the roses. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's not even. Oh, fair. with the roses. Oh. And they take a calculus with the and all that. Like, it's just too much. Oh, yeah, bro. it's too much over there. Like, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> like, they got a haunted house. Everybody's smart. Oh, bro. <laughs> Everybody got money. They got four grandparents. Oh, bro, you yep. can curse before four, four grandmoms. Grade. Four grandmoms, four grandpops. Damn. Eight grandparents. Yeah, so what's that like growing up with two step parents? I've um, only ever heard somebody say like, it's usually one yeah. side. They'd be like, I got my stepmom on this yeah. side, but you don't usually have to, like one parent is usually like, I'm never dating again. Yeah, I love my step parents. Again, like they were cool, they were fun, um, but they never took the place of my parents. So when I knew I was getting a divorce or my second relationship didn't work out with my little mm-hmm. one, I was already prepared for how I felt about my mother um, being around another woman that my dad married. Copy. You know what I mean? So it was just like, cause my, my son loves Wiz's girlfriend. He FaceTimes her. He's like, I love you, Amy. I miss you. I'll see you next week. Right. But, and I think that's a beautiful thing because when my son goes over to his dad's house, I know that she, he's getting love, yeah. hugs, he's getting fed. Um, and he's in an environment where he feels loved. And so you got to take all that other bullshit out and just oh. make sure your your child is happy. Cause they'll tell you kind of the proof of mm-hmm. it. Yeah, Sebastian, I mean, he, if he didn't like her, he would be like, mom, yeah, please, this, this lady's mean to me. And then, you know, 
then I gotta go over there and I gotta do yeah, something. It's a but different conversation. He's, he's you heard the East Coast come out. I gotta go over there. I gotta do something. <laughs> no, but it's not even. It's but not yeah, even but it's not company. that. It's yeah, actually yeah. a really pleasant, positive environment, and so yeah. that that's a beautiful thing. That's awesome, man. I I hear like you always get like this negative thing when people think of like the after things. So it's mm-hmm. like, how do you talk about that healing of? Cause I've seen some recent interviews where you say like I'm cool on the dating right now. Like um, right. even when we was at the house, you was like, "Gee, I think I might be cool. Like, might just kick it with like, my man, boys." I was like, "Man, I wish I was a lesbian. <laughs> man, my life would be so out. much easier." All right, you throw that out on this show now. But I'm, I'm not. Now, look, I can't. Tell her how we do numbers. <laughs> and look, look, <laughs> now you gonna have me a deal. Right, look, in the deal. Nah. look, I know a couple of them watch it. Nah, I don't. I I ultimately want to be with a man, but. I actually have a date tomorrow night. I think you'd be proud. There you go, man. Get you a date, <laughs> old man. There you go. I got it. There yeah, you go. Um, One time for the healing. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. One time for the healing. Yeah. Are you excited or no? I'm nervous, y'all. As you should, what is it? Got I haven't date. been. I've, what is it? I've been with the Friday same man for five eight. years. So. <laughs> you haven't been on a date in five. I've been with the same man for five years. Yeah. Oh, so you haven't dated And it anybody. was shitty. It was a shitty ass relationship. And so this is like my first time. I mean, I had to live through a pandemic with that. You know what I'm mm. saying? So now Damn. it's like, I'm actually going to a restaurant and I'm getting dressed up and I'm she gonna get my flowers want, yeah. and I'm gonna get my, you know, right. little glass of champagne. Like I'm gonna feel like a Your woman again. Vulnerability. Yeah, I can like rest in my femininity for once in five years. I like it. You know? I like it. Good so, luck. Thank you. <laughs> oh, bro. Is it a blind date? What is, it, what is it? That, what's the saying? Though? No, it's no, it's not a blind date. Okay, good. What I met it? him. I met him on a celebrity dating app, actually. No, no, <laughs> I <did>. no. <laughs> here they go. Get your guards up. <clears throat> yeah, here they I go. Did. Okay. What's the difference in having Instagram and a celebrity dating app? I don't see the difference. Well, because a celebrity dating. Well, yeah. So they, they, they have to make sure you are who you are before you can get accepted. And, um, I'm sure they do that through Instagram, right? Why nah, anybody can get is, a blue check now? But it's now. more extensive, yeah. Like you gotta, oh, it's yeah. background check shit. Yeah, like Ben Affleck was on there before he met, <laughs> before he got back with. Um, Don't tell everybody shit. Damn, we. No, no, no. It was we public. is not into that, Ben. We not into no, that. No, no, no. It oh, was you public. told on yourself. My bad. <laughs> it was public. Definitely was on there. Some girl actually outed him. And okay, you didn't mean to get outed. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, some girl outed him, and then everybody on Raya was just like. So why would you do that? Because now all the eligible but bachelors and shit don't want to come on out. here. Yeah, because you're a fucking TikToker Jeez. and you want to go get clout. Damn, what they call the dating game apps. is crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, bro, it's, it's going crazy. Nuts. But I'm not looking for nothing serious. I just, I mean, if it becomes serious, then it does. But if not, I don't care. I just want to like get out the house and just feel normal yeah. again. And feel good. That's what I'm saying. Get, live in your vulnerability. All right, have a yeah. nice dinner. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, dinner. A little drink, <laughs> a little, little right. ravioli. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out to the ravioli. Yeah, a little ravioli, little. Oh, what kind of ravioli? What can? Yeah, I like a little ravioli, right. a little salad. <laughs> a little salad. <laughs> Not your order, Doc. <laughs> Too much. She already thinking about it. See, she nah, already knows what she wants. This, yeah. this is what me and Iman do. This is what me and Iman do. Oh, that's another inside joke. It's not an inside it's joke. Not, it's, yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's It's not. Violent. But only me and We're him We're just know, silly so. as. We're just silly together. You gotta, it's, right. it, you it's know what right. though? You have to, you gotta know when people like. <laughs> it's only funny when the whole room don't see it, and I just can't <laughs> hold the laugh. And then she be like, "God, come on, like, <laughs> like, like, you know what we do? Like, I know it's the inside, but it only works if we can hold the laugh." And I usually ruin it. And not your order for tomorrow <laughs> night. <laughs> for the record, I'm still confused. Dog, oh, that's what I'm saying. She just, now fuck it. Yeah, Everybody fuck at home, it. man, yeah, please. I hope you caught on because this nigga, <laughs> man. He's caught on to what? Take a cab, bro. Just take a to cab. To what? It's all good, man. Let's talk. To- <laughs> <laughs> talk Taking that the- good luck back. Talk about, <laughs> <laughs> talk about uh, the forehead tap. We, we've, I've come to know you as the model show face but still mystique with the glasses like i don't know how many different shaped glasses i've Thousands. seen you in yeah. but it's like do you have an eyewear your own eyewear? i used to i don't really make that much money the eyewear didn't 
I mean, it made money, but it wasn't like, you know, you where can you go, like have yeah. to keep going. You can go buy fucking, you know, eyewear. That's yeah, but I feel like you would pick only good, like. Maybe I'll circle back. That was when I first, first started, when I first came out. Yeah, like so I feel like people that, would like, trust yeah. you. Like, I've, I've never seen you in a pair of shades where I'm just like, why should you wear those? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, you're <laughs> I actually like think a good, I got good taste in shades. Yeah, yeah, like, even when you go <laughs> dumb, like, do some, like, different ones that's like, okay, them a look, but it's, I understand the occasion. Mm -hmm. Okay, you did, if you go do it, do it like that, okay. Period. Like, I could get with that, but I'm saying, like, I feel like on a day-to-day, -day, like, with a biker on, like, a lot of girls would be like, yeah, like, Amber Store would only have yeah, Good I mean, girls, you know girls hit me in DMs constantly. Like, where'd you get those? They'll where'd send you? me a picture of myself. Like, mm. where can I find these? Straight up, shades? yeah. And it's like, I'll circle back. Maybe, maybe no. Maybe you can create a lane where you could be a middleman. And just they gotta pay for that advice to go over there or something. Right. I don't know. I'm right. just trying to get you some money. I'm just trying to get your hand to some money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Giving out jobs or creating jobs. You again. know what I'm saying? I wish you could do that for me. Next time, just throw me some. But if you, you see what I, you know what I mean? So you want me to DM you and ask you? Not at all. I'm just saying, come up with a middleman diversion for me to make some money. I help a so middle many middlemen. I help so many middlemen out. That's wild. You just helping everyone else out but yourself. Ooh, you. now, I can't middleman myself. That don't work. You can. This is all digital. It's the internet. No, because you. See? Well, I I to coach you on that later. You know what I'm saying, little bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's talk fashion. <laughs> What's the reason behind wearing the shades? Um, hold on, I ain't, I done veered off. The forehead tag. Yeah, it's my kids' names. Well. So what, I what made you do the forehead though? So there's a few reasons. One, I always wanted a face tat. Two, I just felt like every time I was out, people were like, are you Amber Rose? Mm. I'm just like, are are you her? So you literally did the like, I'll put it on my forehead for you. Yeah. <laughs> I was ah, like, fuck it. That's her. <laughs> like, that's, that's her. Definitely, for sure though. Nah. Yeah. If you didn't know, like, cause well, this is like Super Saiyan version because it's like I ain't gonna lie to all everywhere. the girls all over the world, ha you know, with have the blonde shave hair. Yeah, the yeah. blonde shave hair. I ain't gonna lie. I've naturally called a couple of women Amber Rose, like knowing good and well it wasn't you, but I'm like, did in, re joke? in reference, yeah, yeah, just in reference. It's like you know, Amber Rose. That's a beautiful there, you know thing. What I'm saying? Amber Rose here, like. You know what I'm saying? No, it and what better than to get my children's names like and slash and bash and it rhymes. Oh, you got both on there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, slash and bash, or well, bash and slash. And they're on top of each other. I ain't gonna make it. Take no, it they're like oh. right here. Well, the only reason I wore a hat today is because I told you I was running late because my makeup. You're totally good. So then they, so he did my makeup, but then I had to, I had to wipe. Oh, no, I you ain't gotta explain yourself to me. I no, gotta... well, I'm talking about my tattoo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I thought I you were saying like the reason I can't take my hat off. Type. No, no, it no, looked no, like no. you touching it. That's all. No, like. so I had a I had to wipe the makeup off my tattoo because that's what that's what I do. So you right. can just see the tattoo, but because he put so much powder, it like separated. And then it just looked like clean skin and like this. <laughs> God, oh, so I was gonna rock like my. Thing. No, I bleached oh, and everything gotcha, for gotcha. this. Like I, ble I really Aww. got a fresh cut and everything, but then I had to throw a hat on. So, but yeah, it does say <laughs> bash slash copy, which are, are my my boys. That's fire and bold. Did it hurt? Not at all. I didn't even feel it. You gonna lie to me? I promise you. You didn't cry. I swear to God, your eyes didn't water. Okay, yeah, okay. Her eyes watered a little bit. Yeah. No, I swear to God. Damn. <laughs> I seen it already, so I get it now. I get it. Get it now. Yeah, That's get what I'm now. saying. Well, it man. It's, and let me God, say, it's, it's the dumbest subtle. thing I've ever seen in it's my so life. It's so subtle how she dropping it in the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the left hand, swear to God. Yeah, you catch it. That's what I'm saying. You got to catch it with it. You feel me? Only thing would have been better if she would have put the other hand on the... <laughs> Or if she had a little Bible in her pocket. Oh, bro, just pulled Not it out. Bible. <laughs> she pulled out a Bible, dog. No bullshit. I'll stop the show, dog. Uh, let's switch gears. Yes. Music. What made you start making music? You know, Iman, I just, I feel like I, I just want to do everything that just makes me happy. Right. You know, and I love music. And going back to the Zodiacs, Libras are known for loving music. That's the... Go down the list. Give come me on, some Libra no, yeah, right. musicians. Come on. come on. No, no, no. Lil Wayne, 
for yeah, one. That nigga love music. Um, that, but yeah, we can stop there. You could. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you will. There. You will. You know. Go ahead. So um, yeah, I just love music. I, I and I had this the catalog. I know music all the way back to the fifties. Yeah. You know. Oh, for sure. And so um, I just wanted to explore and do like different things. I have like some rock songs on there and. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to try it. I right. mean, I feel like, I feel like people put stipulations on like what type of celebrity you are and then you have to stick to that to make them feel comfortable. Straight up. Um, and that's complete bullshit. I'm, I'm gonna live my life mm -hmm. before uh, I die. You know? Everybody else get to. Oh bro, you might as well get it in. Yeah, period. <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm so gonna do it. <laughs> He's like, Real talk, I I'm so gonna do it. Yep. I, I, I'm trying to remember why I started <coughs> making music. Oh, cause I couldn't draw. That's good. That's mm. literally why I started making music. I saw my mama drawing, he could draw. Uh, my oldest brother could draw, but like, I was just like, I don't know. I guess I had to work too hard to do it and something about that bothered me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember my dad saying, yeah, he don't. He told me like why he couldn't draw. But he was, I think he was really making an excuse on the low pop. I, we could clarify that when we bring you home. <laughs> but uh, he told me, he was like, yeah, that's why I just write. Like, I just write. That's why I, I don't be bothered with that. <laughs> like, I don't want to be bothered with that's it. That's how like, he sound, too. Oh, bro, shut up. I, I, I don't feel to be too bothered with that. That's why I write. I don't have to draw. That's why I write. And um, something about that stuck with me. So I used to write stories, do creative writing, but I always liked the rhythm of words anyway and how people spoke. Uh, I was big on that. I only listened to people that had a good rhythm when they deliver shit to me. Like mm -hmm. if you talked weird, I get so caught up in how you talk, I didn't hear shit you said. Right. But if you could deliver shit and damn near sing it like Martin Luther King, I'll hold on to every word. If you could talk to me like Muhammad Ali and tell jokes on the spot, motherfucker, right, right. I'm rocking with you. So yeah, that's cool. I'm like very much married to that when I think about like making music, like thinking of just cool rhythms and cool ways to get you to remember what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it's a communication thing for me. So why why you make music? I don't. Uh. I don't. I just listen to it. <laughs> and all. you judge it, for real though. You definitely judge it. That's hey, just because that's tell natural. About, did you, do ever, you listen to heavy metal sometimes? Not heavy metal. Never? <laughs> not really. No. Oh, man, I you know good you. well this nigga don't listen to no heavy Why? metal. No, my palate is refined. You know, bro. there's a, there's like that's really saying, listen surprised. To Spanish music for you oh, just ain't, that's not, that's not refined. That's, that's not funny. Cause I'm that's dead not, serious. It's that's not, not true. No, it's not true. You know, in Angola, Africa, there's like the death metal bands. Now in like Africa, they, they do like death metal, like really. I bet it's not. Like, it's not a. It's not a thing of only white people listen to that. I I totally get that. It's just not this nigga. Oh okay. Just not this one. You know. So what I'm he saying? know. That's that's what's crazy. You don't know. You have no clue. You remember anything from French class? I know he didn't. Nope. You don't remember nothing. No, I went to French class one time. Bonjour. I mean bonjour. Comment allez-vous? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, wait, what is it? Uh, you trying to Je introduce me yourself? Je yeah, my pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you laughing? You know what I'm saying, Papi? I get it. What? I get it, Papi. Yo, what nobody speaking? I French can't wait till a real Dominican person <laughs> get mad because you out here spewing bullshit. Like that's bullshit. No, nah, they're gonna love you for this. They're not gonna love me. No, nah, they're gonna love you for <laughs> no. this. They're gonna love you and then figure out that they feel like you one of their brothers, Papi. No, no, nah, nah, don't call me that. We like to ask all of our guests before we let you out of here, Amber. What are you working on right now, personally, uh, on improving right now in your personal life? Not personally. What am I working on improving in your personal life? What am I working on improving in my personal life? Um, I'm working on. accepting who I am as a person and not feeling like I have to fit in a box that I'm a million different things. Mm. And uh, I don't wanna apologize for that anymore. Mm. And I feel like for many years, I've tried to like act like I didn't love heavy metal or act like 
you know, um, I wasn't a nerd or act act like I was this overly sexual person when I mm. wasn't. Um, and I, I'm just tired of like not being myself and um, for, for a check, to be honest, because I got thrown into like a persona and then I fucking ran with it, mm -hmm. um, which I always want to help women. It's not like about right, my slut right. walk or anything like that. But I, I fucking ran with it because I mean, it was lucrative. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that. I just want to be Amber. And if people don't like it, just don't follow me. Though you're making the adjustment, do you feel like, you know what? I'm glad I used the lucrativeness. Like you feel like, would you advise somebody and be like, nah, it's not worth it. Like, well, I, think I know it's what a, you're trying to do, but don't do that. You're not going to benefit. No, cause it's a, it's a catch 22 because Still I wouldn't. Still a learning experience, right? I wouldn't be successful had I not did that um, and it gave, it, it's a stepping stone into something bigger moving forward. But do I feel shitty about it? Maybe, like I, I've, I've had like my own personal Moments. battle with that because I, I have a family, I grew up very poor. I don't like, I don't come from money. So like I had to make money um, and now my kids are in private school and like, I can take them to Disneyland and you know provide a life for them that I I wouldn't have if I if I didn't do those things. Yeah. Um, did it take a toll on my mental health? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's like dope. it's like this. But you feel like you're getting the therapy and everything to make the the feeling go, feel. Oh, better. I'm not in therapy for that. I'm I'm good off of that. I'm I'm ready to move forward. Oh, okay, cool. That's yeah. I just didn't. I I don't know the the feeling of feeling like because you saying like to finally feel like you got that voice. Like I said, meeting you on College Hill and knowing that you like this, like, mm -hmm. motherfucker funny, like, <laughs> <laughs> funny, uh, studious, will, if I need some information, probably gonna go to her because she's probably gonna give it to me fair, cut and dry, like, don't really care, bro, that's what it is, and then smile afterwards. Uh, she was our house mom in a way because everybody was like, okay, cool. I'm tired today. If anybody wakes up, just let Amber do it. Clearly, she got boys. Like she knows how to do this. Like she's <laughs> right. figuring Banging this out. And pants, or you just yelling? No, 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 not even. Not even. She just she under like you know, and somebody like you might be sleep hard after we mm -hmm. drink, mm -hmm. and somebody that don't know may be like, "What y'all doing?" and just kick you, not realizing like you might wake up and respond. You may wake up and grab somebody. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you do, but she just give you a sweet voice or a wake up. She'll understand, like, oh yeah, he's gonna. Oh. Okay, I get him now. He's gonna. He's gonna no, say. Yeah, he's I would coming. give Ray J like an extra fifteen minutes. He's gonna and say I would he's come coming and, and okay. go to sleep. So and she and learned I'm, everybody. She knew right. how everybody exactly. was gonna be. Okay. But she wake up early and she's used to the routine of you know what I'm Getting saying. Get the kids like, off to school, having a coffee exactly. ready. Exactly. <laughs> she would be down there drinking her coffee. Like, yo, we y'all ready? We gonna take our break. We got fifteen minutes. I'll get Ray, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll get Ray. That. Yeah, That's usually what that. motherfuckers do, like, man, we'll get Ray, don't worry, somebody get Ray. Right. Uh, can y'all call Ray? <laughs> you know how many times we sent the bus back for Ray, dog? He was just late or couldn't nobody find him? He just, like, sometimes he had shit to do, sometimes. Why didn't they show the part where he was hugging Rosa Parks' statue and kissing her? I'm so glad, I'm so glad we haven't seen that. It Wait, was scenes who, on there. Why well, was he doing that? I was that? in bad shape trying to watch uh, some of that stuff. Uh, Cause I had already, I knew the stories already. You get what I'm saying? So only the times when they went on the deep end and got into real detail did I like stop for mm -hmm. a second to like inhale it like that. When Ray J was getting a <laughs> dose of it and I didn't know whether or not, I don't know how much you know, how much this is a show. I didn't know the level that he knew, but right. the man saw Rosa Parks statue at first, we admiring <laughs> it, cause I'm like, damn it's, dog, she really cool. was five foot mm -hmm. two, five foot one. Yeah, she's little. But when you see him with his glasses, his shades on, he's not, I don't even know if he's trying to be funny or what he was on, but the yeah. man hugged, the, he hugged the statue, Joe, I lost oh, it. Oh, you didn't know if it was I for real I lost it, I didn't know what he doing, okay. I'm like this. But okay. then he kissed her on the cheek, I'm like, he went it's like this, disrespectful. he's like bowing yeah. to her, like. It's like disrespectful, but I'm like, it's, but Rosa like if Parks. he's real, if he's being so was it, authentic, oh, so you nobody, can't be mad at him. Yeah, right, I'm like, I can't get mad that you hugging her because it's right. like, why wouldn't you hug her? But it's her? Ray J, like stop. Why wouldn't you kiss her? So y'all believe he was just being an idiot. It's just the irony. 
It was. Yeah. I just. I'm glad I wasn't on TV getting getting hammered for. I doing think it. half like, of it we were. Well, all of us were like, "Oh shit!" This is Rosa Parks really stood happy. right here and got on the bus right here. Like it was a surreal Shot, moment. Yeah. But Ray J is just a fucking. He's a clown. Maybe in, it was an nice amazing breaker. way. Yeah, hey, maybe, maybe it was. Nice it was. I'm glad when we. Yeah, it was two. It, he had two moments. It was that. <laughs> don't moment. talk about that. The other that moment, moment was crazy. Crazy dog. But it's like, I'm just. I hope they don't do it. Maybe they use it as a BTS later on. I don't know. But I if y'all do show that, I apologize for laughing. I shouldn't Me have been. La- <laughs> I should have been laughing. But the irony of it, it's like like we was talking about, like comedians yeah. doing the funny shit at a funeral. The thing with Ray like, J, like he that. just has a like, straight face the whole time. Yeah, he can. He hold doesn't it. crack. He doesn't crack at he all. He saw us die. Like we were. I oh, okay. Saying, so he knew y'all. No, was we were laughing. dying. I okay, 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 okay. I grabbed okay. my mic and tried to turn it off. Like, I'm thinking y'all. Like, bro, like, y'all I feel like I'm disrespectful for laughing. But Iman, that's what I'm saying. They didn't show. Oh, none of that. And Not he that was they, so serious, like the whole time he was just like. They just made the the editing was so trash, yo. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rip it. Was, was she it. gonna drag the editor? I it was go, just not cool. He about to be fired. I I mean, you can't fire us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, you talking about the editor the gonna editor. get fired? No, no, no. She's not trying to get the nah. editor fired. She's oh just, no, I didn't that. say that. It's it's just like like they, they gonna have 15 people in the room that got help right. on editing, and like one editor. It's gonna be, oh, you, you might just do the nigga at the top, but the nigga at the top probably paid the money, so he ain't doing it. No, that's it. <laughs> I just wish the they would have shown us more having Claire, fun she's and done. like the camaraderie. I wish they would have showed more of that. Well, damn, BT. Before we let you go, Amber, is there anything else you want to promote, man? I know you yes. don't want to promote that editing, but. <laughs> yeah. I know. BT, y'all did me so dirty. I love y'all, though. Um, I have my own podcast coming out. Oh, it's shit. the just the Amber Rose show. Okay. Um, I have my own YouTube series coming out, which awesome. I'm gonna be cooking. You're gonna see me in my house with my children. Awesome. We're gonna be just it's just all Amber, everything Amber. So that that's what I was saying earlier. Like, I'm just getting to the point where I've I've always been scared to like do IG live or scared to talk in the camera. And I've always been really like reclusive. You feel like your foundation is time you could. Yeah, I just feel like it's like, you know what? If you don't like me, I I, I really don't care. I'm just not I'm just not your cup of tea then. I got my boys, I got my family. That's it. Like I'm locked in. Yeah. That's how it become. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is how it goes. When, when your family fuck right. with it, you be like, yeah, I'm I'm not worried about it. But like, yeah, they like it. That's my problem, though. I think a lot of times my foundation be making it like I seem sometimes too distant from people because I really will get on that. Like, bro, this shit ain't real. Like, <laughs> oh. Well, you know what? But, but what happens, Iman, is that people might look at that as like you're an asshole or yeah, like you're, sure. you're unapproachable. I like, get that sometimes. That's that's my persona, my my whole career that I'm just unapproachable or I'm like so now we could maybe be, a bitch, but I'm I'm not. I'm a sweetheart. So now we could be expecting some IG lives. I don't, know about that. I don't know about that, but you can definitely catch me on YouTube and, uh, and take, gotta, a, take a look into my life. You got a YouTube, the actual hash, I mean, uh, handle backslash. Is no, that what it's called? no. Uh, back, what's it called? Not right now. Cause I didn't start Backspot. filming yet. URL. What's the URL? Yeah. I didn't start filming yet. I just signed my deal last week. Oh, your deal. Fresh. Yeah. Uh, damn. You get a deal without a name of the show. Yeah. God, yeah. I got damn. I got a whole deal. <laughs> Stop, <bud. laughs> Period. Damn. <laughs> God damn, that was just I right. You know, now. you sign the deal, and then they're like, "Okay, what do you want to call it?" Or what? Nope, do you, you know, I don't know that. That's not usually how my deals go, Amber. No. So stun again if you won't stun again. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, <on laughs> baby. Uh, <laughs> let the people know where they can follow you in your yeah. career, though. Your your actual handle. Yes. Yeah, so on Instagram, uh, uh, Instagram, Instagram, Great. I'm at Amber Rose. Okay. On Twitter, I'm at the real Amber Rose. Okay. And um, Wait a minute, somebody took Amber Rose, the regular one. Oh, they would not give it to me. I've tried for years. Yo, Bo. And you then she, ask and then you, she will be on Twitter and be like, I'm not Amber Rose. Can you stop <laughs> fucking bothering me? <laughs> and it's like, bitch, give me my name then. <laughs> What if I name Amber Why Rose? Why you mad at my fans for look, uh, d- mentioning you? Give me my fucking name. They in what if that's my name, though? It's my name, too. <laughs> it's on my ID. It's on yeah. hers, too. <laughs> it don't matter, but, but my whole thing is no, like... No, for real, though, if you have to say... If you want to keep my name, no, then deal with my say, fans mentioning but, me. Yeah, if you have to say, I'm not Amber Rose, then give up the handle. 
Yes. I didn't know she said that. If she actually said she that, she likes the tweet, following and the clout from the name. She I ain't gonna lie. Me. How many followers she got? I don't know. I, I honestly, I haven't looked in years. She, she I, might be getting money off you, son. She might I like know. you by now. She might be like, man, we hey, can probably go work <laughs> something out. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, sis. Hey man, good luck, sis. As always, thank y'all for rocking with us on Iman Amongst Men. I am Iman Shumpert, and I'm Ari Shumpert. Thanks to our guest, Amber Rose. Thanks so much. <laughs> having me guys love you guys of course thank you make sure you go rate five stars review and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcast and to watch the full video episodes you're gonna head over to uninterrupted youtube channel and click subscribe and until next time y'all we are gone 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 (laughs) (laughs) she's the first to participate oh bro wait to participate